Okay, so in the last two videos, we worked through two of these problems, and I think I might have stumbled on my language a little bit, but I'm going to try to rephrase what I was saying in the last video here to work through this, prob this problem, um, which is that we, we want to find the greatest common factor of this term and this one. So what, which one of these could go evenly into both numbers? And um, I, just by looking at it, I think that the answer is 3x because I can picture that 3x is a factor of 12x because 3x times 4 is 12x, right? So 12x can be broken up to a factor of 3x times 4 because 3x times 4 is 12x. And then 3x squared plus 6x can also be thought of as 3x times something. And in fact, I think of it as times x plus what plus 2. How did I know that? Well, 3x times x is 3x squared. And 3x times 2 is 6x. So I know that this is one factor times this factor will give me this term. I know it goes into both of them. So it's definitely a common factor. And I'm thinking it's the greatest common factor. Um, for example, x plus 2, if I chose c, how would I multiply x plus 2 to get to get 12x? Not so easy, right? I mean, what am I going to multiply by? Try 3, try 12 to get 12x, but then I get 12x plus 24. It's not, not very easy to do, and in fact, I don't think there's any way to do it evenly with any whole numbers. So I don't think we can get from x plus 2 to 12x just by multiplying um, an even amount of times. So c is out. Same thing, 3x times x plus 2 is 3x squared plus 6x. Well, x squared does not go into x um, a whole no amount of times. For example, if x equals 10 and x squared equals 100, well, x goes into x squared, but does x squared go into x? Well, I could multiply 100 by a tenth and get 10, but greatest common factor is all about an even, even division, right? How do I get from x squared to x by multiplying by a whole number or counting number? I can't. So this is out. And, and 3 does go into both numbers because, for example, 12x, you can think of that just as 3 times 4x. Sure, it's a factor. And 3x squared, our second term, plus 6x, you could think of that as 3 times x squared plus what? Well, 3 times 2x. Because, again, 3 times x squared is 3x squared, and 3 times 2x is 6x. And those are factors, but they're not the greatest common factor. The greatest common factor is 3x. So I pick choice B.